Hello, it is Kemba Stamps, and today we have another mail day. First, I want to apologize for the two week hiatus from uploading videos. Um, I was fortunate enough to spend some time in Hawaii, so I haven't had time to upload videos in the past few weeks. But I am back, and we have two things to go over today. First is this my first Philatelic cover, which is from Southern Rhodesia. Then I have some few early stamps from Sierra Leone. I already categorized the Sierra Leone stamps, so we should be pretty quick going over those. And I just got this one in today, so... Yeah, let's take a look at it first. We're going to start off with the Southern Rhodesia cover. This is a cover from 1944, and it has a sensor on it. Um, first, I want to show you guys what I paid for. I paid around $3.25, which came out to be $3.51 with the tax. You can see, I ordered it all the way back in March, but I didn't get it until April 9th. Not sure what took them so long to send it, but it did take them a little while. Um, but this is the cover. Um, see, it was coming from Bulawayo. Rhodesia, which is now in Zimbabwe. I've been to Bulawayo a few times. It is very, very pretty there. Definitely not better than Harare. It's one of the larger cities that we have. Um, but this is going all the way to Michigan, USA. See, it's pretty interesting. And it's had to pass a sensor, which is one of the reasons I got it. I'm not sure why it would need to be opened by an examiner. Probably because it's from 1944. So maybe it has something to do with World War II. Not 100% sure, because I don't think any... Wars are found in Southern Rhodesia. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, there you have the stamp. I do have a block of four of that stamp, so I think we'll be looking nice next to that. See, it's from a table land. I'm pretty sure that's Cecil Rhodes that they put on there. Um, and yeah, just overall, a, a really nice cover to look at. A lot of cool stuff on there. It definitely will look good in my album. So, yeah, first cover, by the way. Be sure to get some more of those. For now, I'm going to show you guys the page in the album. First, I'll show you guys what I paid for it. Um, just a few stamps from Sierra Leone. It's a, kind of a random lot. It was 1884 to 1926. As you can see here, that is the price I paid in the shipping. So let's take a look here. These are two auctions. Normally, I don't uh, like participating in auctions. I'm not the best at them. But, uh, yeah, so here I will show you guys the stamps. All right. I'll try to be less shaky and move the tripod there. All right, so starting off here, this is a overprint of postage and revenue. The stamp is from 1897. Then we have some King Edward the Seventh stamps from 1907 to 1910. Um, these already had these, these were not included in the lot, so I just put those in there. Then we got on to King George V. This is from either 1912 or 1921 to 1928. Um, there's two different series, and they're a little bit different in the coloring, and I, I'm going to go over that someday soon, but I didn't put these in the complete categorical, categorical order, order. They're either from the 1912 set or the 1921 to 1928 set, so I'm not really sure. Um, but those are King George V stamps. Then we have some more 1912 King George V with elephant stamps. And then some more, um, more earlier or more uh, recent stamps that aren't that rare, but yeah, pretty cool. I'm not going to fully collect Sierra Leone. Um, it's just kind of interesting to have some of these stamps because I do like the colors on them. There's definitely a ton of varieties that they released. Um, it's pretty much all have Freetown cancellations on there. Yeah, I never see any ones that are not from Freetown. I think all of these are probably from Freetown. This is a nice clean set, as you can see here. There's no cancellation on that they're all mint never hinge so that's pretty cool there um, but like i said i already had those and then i think i may have said the date wrong here but this is from 1897 that's posted as revenue overprint so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy today's mail day uh, pretty short pretty quick but uh, that's just a mail that i've gotten past a uh, little bit of weeks uh coming up though i will show you guys my liberia stamp collection i still need to uh, get that all sorted out my library stamp collection have about 3,000 librarian stamps, so it is pretty extensive. That's a little bit of value in there. Uh, so I'll be showing you guys that and then making up some more videos here in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.